Blog Talk Radio. Good morning, everyone. If that's a song you haven't heard on a Wednesday in a long time, there's a reason for that. It's 8 a.m. Eastern here on the 18th day of June, 2014. My name is Annette Rochelle Aben, and this is the Attitude of Gratitude. I am so grateful that we get to do the show this morning. Honestly, it isn't that we can't do the show. The show has been scheduled. But there's been some technical difficulties the last couple of weeks, and we have not been able to do the show. So welcome in. I am grateful again that we can all be here together. Grateful as well for the fabulous music that you're hearing in the background. David Martinka, the award-winning artist, composed this music for us. And you can find his music at redbellymusic.com. That's his site. You can go there and find free downloads and CDs to purchase. And the group that he's with is sunshadows.net, and you can find more music there. So I think this is just a wonderful opportunity to gather together and talk about the things that we're grateful for. You know, the attitude of gratitude isn't something that we just have when everything is going peachy keen dandy, if you're in the southeastern Michigan area right now here on the 18th of June here in 2014, there's nothing peachy keen dandy about the weather. It's it's calm at the moment, but when I woke up a little bit ago, it was just a giving us the dickens, honest to Pete. Rain, 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 and thunder and lightning and winds and blowing, and still the reason to be grateful. I'm grateful I'm not out in it. I'm grateful that it did what it needed to do, and it calmed down. You know, when you're looking at why there are reasons to be grateful, there are so many. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm even grateful for the frog in my throat. Why? Because you can hear that, because I get to do my show today. So maybe the simplest things in the world about being grateful are what get us through our day, through our lives, through whatever comes our way. You know, not everything in our life is perfect. And I know there's probably many of you out there going, Gina, we kind of knew that, duh. And I get that. You know, I I understand people do get that. I understand people understand that not everything in our life is wonderful and great and shining and glorious. However, if you're going to look at it as what's going on in the exact moment, because that's the way a lot of us look at it. We say, well, we're looking at this situation, that situation, this situation, and it looks fill in the blank with the word that you really aren't happy about. It looks bleak. It looks scary. It looks this. It looks that. You feel, you know, stressed. You feel pressured, whatever that is. Now, if you think about it, any time you've had that situation in the past where you've looked at something and you've thought to yourself, you know, this situation, meaning in that present moment, blah, 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 and then at the time when you are on the other side of it, at the time when you're away from it, at the time when you, you've you gotten beyond it, you look back at it, and it wasn't as long a time or it wasn't as bad a time as you thought it was, and you say, wow, I'm so grateful I'm on the other side of that. Let me tell you how to get on the other side of that in your mind quicker, which will then bring you to the other side of it quicker and that is to put your head your head in that happily ever after now Mm -hmm. put your head in the happily ever after now because when you do that you get there quicker i know you think i'm a little daffy when i say that but i'm really not it is the truth it is the god's honest truth if you can put yourself into the happily ever after quicker and you can get your thoughts together sooner what's going to happen is it's going to manifest what it is you really want that much faster that much easier and that much more powerfully there's a reason behind that there's a there's a reason why if we 
as the as in the movie The Secret, they say they give the example: someone stubs their toe getting out of bed, and everything spirals right after that. Then the, you know, like they get to the end of the day and they're thinking, "Oh man, I've just had a wonky day." However, if every time something occurs during your day, a literal or figurative stubbing of the toe, so to speak, you just sort of gloss beyond it, you sort of look on the other side of it, that doesn't ruin the rest of the day. Stubbing a toe is a matter of seconds. And in the scheme of things, being 60 seconds in every minute and 60 minutes in every hour, if stubbing your toe is only a a second or two of a moment, you know, of a, of a day, rather, there's a lot of seconds left. Was it 83,000? I'm trying to remember what it was, the amount of seconds. And I don't have a calculator handy, and I'm not going to sit here and try and figure it out. However, there's a lot of seconds left in the day. If you're going to dwell on the thing that was funky or wonky, what's going to happen is you're going to create more funky and wonky in that very day. It isn't that you're drawing bad luck to you It's that what's happening around you is you're creating the energy that you're dwelling on. You're creating more of it. Like attracts like. So if you're creating an energy of gratitude, you're going to attract more things into your life to be grateful for. Now, that doesn't mean that just because you're in an attitude of gratitude, there will never be anything around you that could make you go, what the what? Kidding me? What? Of course that stuff's going to happen. It always happens. In ways that we notice and in ways that we don't notice, okay? So there's always a balance in the world. For all the happy, happy highs, there are some dippy-dopey lows, all right? However, when we find ourselves in that place of balance, we find ourselves in the place of us keeping it together inwardly. I'm making a gesture with my hand like you can see this. I'm taking my thumb and I'm backward, I'm drawing it down the center of my body from the top of my head, the balance inside will literally create the balance on the outside. And you do that with the attitude of gratitude. You do that by giving yourself the chance to be very, very grateful for all the different things that are going on in your life. You give yourself the opportunity to have those wonderful, wonderful energies Because what you're doing is you're talking about them and you're thinking about them and you're sending your love, your positive desire. It's like you're wrapping yourself in it and it's like you're joining it. There will be, and I promise you this, there will be a reaction of pulling to you that energy which gives you more things to be happy about. It gives you more things to be grateful for. It gives you more reasons to be oh so positively, totally and completely in love with your life, the way it is, for exactly what it is, in every day, in every way. This is how you do it. You know, people want to know how you get a job. Well... You look for a job, you find an offer, you see what they want. In other words, there are steps is what I'm trying to say. There are steps that you go through. And as you go through the steps, the really interesting thing is each step along the way, there's a reason why they're asking you to do this. There's a reason why they're asking you to fill out an application. There's a reason why they're asking you to come in and have an interview. There's a reason, fill in the blank. And then there's also reasons why they make you wait. Maybe they've got other candidates that they're interviewing. Maybe they've got other people that they that they have to converse with. You know, the person that interviewed you might have to go and talk with five or six other people and say, hey, you know, I just interviewed this person and whatever else. In other words, there are step-by-step procedures. But when you are saying, look, I'm so grateful I had that interview. I'm so grateful I found this. I'm so grateful, whatever. It's giving you something to think about and something to focus on while they're busy doing what they're doing, because they're going to have to do it anyway. The crazy thing is that that is part of the procedure as well, your participation. The same with cooking food, the same with going to a restaurant. There, In fact, that might be an actual easier or better example is to talk about going to a restaurant 
You order your food. Food's got to get cooked. It's got to get plated. It's got to get served. And then you've got to eat it. So there's a step-by-step there. When you're looking at creating a life that you understand the power of gratitude, there is a step-by-step in that as well. I hope that's where I was going because in my mind I'm thinking, this makes logical sense. If it didn't make any logical sense, just contact me and we'll talk about it again. But you build yourself up to getting used to embracing the attitude of gratitude by simply doing it, by following the steps, taking a deep breath and being grateful for the fact that you can breathe, taking a deep breath being grateful for the fact that your eyes work, taking a deep breath and being grateful for the fact that you can turn your head, Take a deep breath and be grateful for the fact that your fingers work, your arms work, your legs work, your hips work, your toes work, your feet work. Be grateful for these things. When there's nothing outside in your world that you really, honestly, truly can look at and see that you're grateful for. And some people just, they can't see that, that there's gratitude there to be had. Start with the things that you can be grateful for. And if you sincerely don't feel it, say it and do it anyway. That's part of the step. Say it and do it anyway. Say you're grateful. Say that there's gratitude in your heart. Really, you know, people will say, is that fake it till you make it, Annette? Well, you can call it what you like. But it's part of the step, and it works. It really, really does work. And if you're constantly dwelling on the why something happens, that's an attitude of gratitude sabotager. I'm just going to toss that in there when I work with people, when I mentor them, and and I, you know, give coach them. One of the things that I talk about is, you know, the attitude of gratitude saboteurs. And the first one is asking why. Why did that happen? Why is this going on? Because what happens is when your brain says why, you logically go through the energy to repeat the scenario because our bodies, our brains, our awarenesses, our consciousness, consciousnesses, there you go, I'm inventing my own words today, know that we are experiential beings. And it knows that the reason we figure it out is because we go through it. So rather than say why, I'm going to give you a little tip. Say thank you, I got it. I'm so grateful for that because thank you, I got it. Thank you, I get it. You say that, it's going to circumvent one of those steps. It's going to take away some of that pressure, and it's going to give you an opportunity to get on the other side of it quicker. So again, your attitude of gratitude, even when you don't think things are going the way they should or you don't think things are the way you'd like them to be, It is your most powerful tool. It is your greatest adversary. It is your best friend. And why? Because it is something that you create. It is something that you can connect to. And when you truly embrace and embody an attitude of gratitude, you will feel the physiological results within you. You will feel your body relax. You will feel your mind stop chattering. You will feel your heart stop racing. You will feel this. It may take you a little longer than somebody else. doesn't matter. Don't compare. As long as you're getting to the results, it's all good. As long as they're coming about, and they will, you can get in touch with me and at Rochelle Aben. I'm on all the big social medias, and I will walk you through it. I'll walk you through it. It's what I do. It's one of the things that I do. I am a coach, I am a mentor, and I'm here for you to help you with this attitude of gratitude because I've walked those steps, I continue to walk those steps, I have to make those choices every day. So look for me on my website, Annette Rochelle Aben at word, wordpress.com, Annette Rochelle Aben dot wordpress.com. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, Google+, all over the place, here on Blog Talk Radio blogtalkradio.com backslash perspective power and facebook backslash perspective power it is such a wonderful day today because i have gotten to share the attitude of gratitude with you i've gotten to share the fantastic music of award-winning artist david martinko with you you can find his music at redbellymusic.com and sunshadows.net and remember that this show is live every wednesday here at blog talk radio 8 a.m eastern when we gather together to share and enjoy our attitude of gratitude.